After a three-month hiatus, Kilauea finally erupted again in the early morning of the 7th of June, 2023 at 4.43 Hawaii Standard Time. Rapid inflation and dozens of earthquakes swarmed the summit days preceding the eruption. The large initial breakthrough of lava took place in the middle of Kilauea's summit Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater. The initial height of the fountain reached as high as 250 feet or around 76 meters. The lava started to cover large swaths of the crater floor just seconds after the lava broke through the surface. The eruption from the 5th of January 2023 also started out in the same general area but was less intense than this eruption. So it is possible that any future initial eruptions of lava may start out here in the middle of the crater. The volume of lava from this eruption was so large initially that the lava covered the entire crater floor within an hour and filled up the crater floor with 9 meters or 30 feet of lava within 4 hours of the onset of this eruption. In this footage, you can see many lava fountains erupting from all over the crater floor. The lava fountains vary from anywhere from 50 to 100 feet or 15 to 30 meters tall. The width of the lava gushing from the vent in the foreground is about 100 meters wide. About 10 million cubic meters of lava erupted on the first day of this eruption, making it the largest volume of lava that erupted on the first day of any eruption since December 2020. The initial sulfur dioxide reading was 65,000 tons per day on the 7th of June, dropping to 22,000 tons per day on the second day, with an average about 5,000 tons per day after that. Not only Lava was erupting on the crater floor, but it also started to erupt on the southwest wall of Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater on the 7th of June. It started out as a small fissure of lava fountains about 100 feet or 30 meters long, with the upper part of the fissure about 100 feet or 30 meters above the crater floor. In this footage, shot by the U.S. Geological Survey, you can see the southwest wall vent in its first couple of hours, and this is facing towards the south. Eventually, this would become the primary vent. About 80% of the lava that erupted from this eruption would erupt within the first three days. And here you can see Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater filling up with lava in this time lapse from the 7th to the 9th of June 2023 and is facing towards the north. Due to this rapid filling of lava inside Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater, the west facing B1 webcam that was placed on the east edge of the crater for years had to be moved to a higher location as the lava was encroaching in the area where the camera was located. The helicopter could be seen taking the camera to a safer location for now. In fact, what you see in this footage is the reason why the B1 webcam that has been recording on the eastern part of Hale Ma'u Ma'u for years was moved. Watch to the center left. Wow, this footage by the west facing B1 cam recorded another vent forming on the eastern floor of Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater at 5.31 in the morning on the 7th of June 2023, just 45 minutes after the start of this eruption. The lava fountains reach as high as 100 feet or 30 meters initially. If anyone would have been standing within 100 feet or 30 meters of that area, they would have had no time to escape the gushing lava. The camera recording this footage had to be moved to higher ground as the lava was just only a few meters below. This footage shows where the lava reached the downdrop block on the northeast part of Hale Ma'u Ma'u. A downdrop block is a step-like structure caused by the collapse of the caldera floor. Here you can see volcanologists taking samples for further study of this eruption. They bring a small sample over, put it in a bucket, and pour some water in it. You can see how the water boils away because the rock is still very, very hot. Another eruption will eventually cover this area in lava in the future. This area of the caldera floor is accessible by helicopter only. Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater is off limits to the public and for good reason. Only authorized personnel are allowed here. There are safe eruption viewing areas within the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and I will post the link in the description. As the geologists finish with their work and head back on the helicopter, you can see how wide an area the eruptive vents cover. Note the different vents in different parts of the crater floor. The dimensions of the current crater floor that was covered completely by lava are 1.6 kilometers or 1 mile northeast to southwest by 1.2 kilometers or 3 quarters of a mile northwest to southeast. One of my most favorite parts of this eruption was that geologists were able to capture a fierce, fast-rotating lava-induced whirlwind, or lavanado. This lavanado was so powerful it would rip hardened parts of crust and fling them tens of meters from the vortex like small pieces of paper being blown in the wind. 
The rocks weighed anywhere from 1 to maybe 20 kilograms apiece. The vortex was so strong, it left a trail of exposed molten lava. Lava induced whirlwinds or lavanados form when a heated air column meets a breeze from the side and the column of air starts to rotate. This vortex here is rotating at a speed of anywhere from 60 to 70 miles per hour or 96 to 113 kilometers per hour and can be as powerful as an F0 tornado. This thermal map shows the difference of Halit Ma'umau crater floor before the eruption and the day after. The low-lying areas along the southwest edge and the north part of the crater were covered by lava. Between the 8th and the 14th of June, the lava lake started to cool on the east and the north parts of Halit Ma'umau and began to form a horseshoe-shaped lava lake on the west end of Halit Ma'umau. The activity began to concentrate in the west lava lake and the west basin which was active also in 2022, and to a lesser extent, the southwest wall vent. On the 13th of June, lava fountain began to diminish on the large west lava lake, but crustal overturning continued. The west basin still continued to be active. Here are the locations of the west lava lake, the west basin that was active in 2022, and the southwest wall vent inside Halit Ma'umau crater. On the 15th of June, the southwest wall vent started to intensify over the next few days, while the large west lava lake stopped erupting and the west basin also started to slow down in activity. Lava from the southwest wall began to fill in the west basin, the smaller lava lake to the southeast of the west basin, and the large west lava lake. On the 16th of June, the west basin lava lake did a complete crustal overturn within two minutes in this time lapse. Basically what happens is, Dense cooled crust would sink into the less dense molten lava and would set off a chain reaction by pulling more crust into the molten mass. The West Basin Lava Lake would eventually grind to a halt around the 18th of June. At this point, lava from the southwest wall vent continued to fill in the West Basin, the small pit to the southeast of the West Basin, and the large West Lava Lake. The southwest wall vent was now the most active vent of the eruption from the 16th to the 19th of June. A constant jet of lava fountains, sometimes reaching as high as 100 feet or 30 meters above the vent. The vent itself was around 300 feet above the crater floor, or around 100 meters. Around 1551, on the 19th of June 2023, the fountains at the southwest wall vent started to slow down and eventually diminished quickly around 1600. A few burps of lava, however, continued for the next few minutes, but lava stopped ejecting from the vent around 1615. Two hours later, no lava could be seen at all inside the southwest wall vent except a few glowing parts that persisted. Also glow persisted at the west lava lake over a two day period due to the lava lake surface dropping and exposing the still molten but cooling interior. No side to side lava crust movement has been witnessed after the 19th of June due to the fact that no lava was erupting to push the lava to the side. The total crater floor rise or lava lake depth at the end of the eruption since measurements began on the 20th of December 2020 is 401 meters or 1,315 feet. The total crater floor rise or lava lake depth since this eruption started is 13 meters or 43 feet. Approximately 13 to 16 million cubic meters of lava erupted in this eruption from the 7th to the 19th of June 2023. This is based on the rise of the crater floor and the area the lava covered. This concludes the highlights of this short-lived eruption lasting just shy of two weeks of Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano Summit eruption. Thanks for watching.